Hi, Gemini viewers. Going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so, and just any general energy I get. Um, you guys have had an interesting year, definitely. I, I, this group of Geminis that I've been channeling, it's like you guys are in this high priestess energy. Like you've been, you've gone through a lot of um, life transformations this year, I feel. Like you've really, you're really in this seductive energy, and I think you have been for a while. Um, or some of you are just now claiming that energy. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really positive. It's like you have multiple love partners and you have for a while. I feel I keep getting for this group. I keep getting the energy of secret admirers. Like there's a lot of people, um, that are watching you that are admiring, you know, people that want to be like you, people that want to be with you, just general publicity. I think a lot of you are meant to be in the spotlight. Um, not all of you, you know, it's going to, you know, it's, it's specific people, but I, th I think there's quite a few of you um, just going off the energy I've gotten from this group over the past year. I think there's quite a few of you that are meant to be in the spotlight. Like you, you are pursuing a career um, that involves a lot of public recognition or you're pursuing some type of um, could be like humanitarian work or there's just something where the public is going to be the public either is or the public is going to be recognizing you they're they're going to be inspired by you I, I keep getting that energy for you guys um and if some of you are probably readers too and you're you're taking things up to the next level too I, I that would make sense as well um let's see what else because I'm just I started channeling right while I was starting the video so I got some just some little tidbits here and there yeah I think that 2021 is going to be a really powerful year for you I really do I think that there might have been some I mean there's chaos for all of us in 2020 but I feel like maybe you kind of went back and forth it's like there were times when you felt empowered but then times when you just felt depressed and alone and um you, you know you are in this this high priestess energy though that has been pretty consistent like every time I channel you guys you are in that energy even if you're going through some depression or loneliness or some kind of um you know negativity that you're getting through you're, you're still in this energy where people respect you and people you know admire you and there there are secret there are secret admirers that were watching you um I feel like one of them might have kind of distanced themselves because they were tired of not knowing if it was going somewhere. But I do feel like more come in. Like if somebody leaves somebody, the universe brings somebody new in. Like it's like this ebb and flow kind of process. Like your universe, your your energy is just consistently um, drawing that energy in of, of, of love, of, you know, power. I also feel like for some of you, I don't know if it's for all of you, but maybe just a few of you, there's something that you've been waiting on. There's some news that you've been waiting on that you've been anxious about, and I feel like you're going to get good news because I feel something shifting for you. And again, this isn't for everyone. I think if this is your message, you'll know, like it will resonate with you. Um, but for a few of you, it's like there's news you're waiting on. Like there, there's something going on where you're, you're anxious, you're awaiting an answer on something. And I feel, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like a, an up-leveling within the first few months of um, 2021. But I don't know what it exactly it is. I don't know if it's like a new relationship or like a promotion, like maybe it's like a career promotion or like a new job or you graduating. Um, or like, I feel like finances too. I feel like there's something with fi like, fi like some financial abundance coming in for you. So I don't, maybe it wouldn't be love because there's something tied to, I mean, you already have that love flowing in. You already have all these people that are attracted to you, but I just feel like there's something else like in the first few months of 2021, like some kind of up leveling or something. I think you would know what it is. I think it's something that you're like anxious about or something you're hoping for, or like a goal that you've been working towards and you're about to finally get to that place where you want to be. So let me see what the cards have to say. So what do you guys want to say about Gemini's love life? What is going on in the love department right now? What is going on with love? If you guys like to book a private reading, I have January specials. It is 
$40 for a 30 plus minute video reading or $5 for five pendulum questions. And all my contact info is below. Okay, let's see. In the last video I did, I was getting that you're somebody's unicorn. Like somebody just does not want to let this opportunity go here. Pride, stubbornness, chase or chasey power struggle, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives, new love, so I, I get the energy of two people here actually, anger, miscommunication, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, cold guarded, distrusting, Ooh, you guys have some chaotic energy going around. I didn't even expect that. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily negative, but it's just, it's surprising. It's not necessarily that you, maybe it's not your energy. It could just be this person that was kind of toxic that's wanting to come back in. Um, but I was surprised because usually I get like really, for, for this group of Geminis, I usually get really good positive energy. It's usually just like... Um, you know, people are just drawn to you, people are spying on you. That's a very common one for you guys, for this group, is that people are like watching you on social media, or they're planning their approach, they're wanting to talk to you. It's like you guys have been in this very seductive energy. So I'm surprised at this, but this is probably an ex that's gonna try to come back around. Could be during Mercury retrograde too, because we have that coming up in about a month, or less than a month, and sometime in, in mid to late January. Yeah. I feel like there's a karmic relationship that's coming back around. Not that you have to go for it, though. It's just an ex that I think is thinking about you, um, wanting to come back around. Because I feel like with this person, you there was like a power struggle with them. There's like a lot of pride and stubbornness. It's like you guys were always kind of trying to one-up each other. Or it's like you'd play games, like you wouldn't text them back right away or they wouldn't text you back right away. Might have been some third-party energy going on, like cheating or them, them with somebody else, some kind of energy like that. It, um, hmm, let's see here. Yeah, because we got, we got pride and stubbornness, and then we have power struggle here. So this is, like, somebody who kind of just wanted to have their cake and eat it, too, and just, just a lot of ego, I, I feel like. A lot of, like, maybe there might have been love there deep down, but it's like you guys weren't willing to be vulnerable with each other. It's like they hurt you, or you hurt them, or, or both, and then somebody just shut down after that. And I think it just turned into a power struggle. Like what could have been real love ended up kind of just becoming a power struggle because it's like you guys didn't want to be vulnerable after that, you know, or, or whoever who hurt whoever. I don't know. You know what your story is, but, but it, it caused like a lot of pride and stubbornness and this power struggle. It's like you guys went down this path of like, I don't know, I just feel like miscommunication and just trying to it's like you miss them but you don't want to let them hurt you again kind of you know I feel like you're going to try to take it slow when they come back around like you're going to try to kind of be seductive and try to um you know wait to not text them back right away kind of just you know you want to make sure that you're not putting all your eggs in this basket again which is positive of you that's a really good thing like you shouldn't put all your eggs in this basket especially if this person was toxic you don't want to do that you know there's all these red flags with this person you don't want to put all your eggs in that basket but i don't know how well that's gonna go <laughs> I mean, I could take it. If you're trying to make them jealous, if, like, you already know who this new love is, if this hasn't come in yet and you're trying to make them jealous, I could take that to see as, as that's... I think there's a couple different stories here. For some of you, this is going to work for you. It's like it is going to make them jealous. You know, you're going to try to make them jealous with this new person. It actually is going to work. Um, but some of you don't know who this new person is. Some of you do. Some of you, it's still coming in. Um, but I also feel like this could be their person like this could be like a karmic relationship that they were in and you're trying to take it so and it's like you're beautiful and seductive and the karmic is going to come through and there's going to be all this drama and they're going to get jealous of you and you're going to have this cat fight going on here I could also take it as just you know they're the same toxic person they always were where it's like 
So for okay, so for for those of you that are trying to make them jealous, I feel like it's saying it is going to work. But for those of you that are not trying to jealous, if that's not resonating with you, then I think it's telling you this is actually going to this energy is going to backfire on you. Like you're going to have drama with their karmic, like you might think that he or she is out of the picture and they're not. Um or it could just be some type of like it becomes a power struggle again. Like they realize that you're text that you're deliberately not texting back right away. So it's like two can play that game, and it's like you guys, it's just all ego, and all that love is just buried underneath all this this fear and this pain and this 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 anger and this miscommunication and all these issues that you guys have with each other over the over you know however long you've known each other. Uh, but I do feel new love coming in, and again, this person is probably if. if whether it's in here now, whether it's there for you now or whether it's coming in, I feel like this person's going to be jealous. You have this, it's like a soulmate past life. It's like a soul contract, I think, with this toxic person that you keep repeating. It's like maybe you need to cut those cords so this doesn't keep coming back around because you do really want this. It's like there might have been love deep down, but there's so much damage there now because there's so much you guys because you guys both kind of held on to your pride. And it makes sense. If somebody hurts you, you're going to, you know, you're going to be scared. It's going to be hard to open up to somebody that hurt you. But it's just, you know, this person here keeps is still cold and guarded and distrusting. Like they're still overthinking and overanalyzing and, and sabotaging things. They're still just trying to be right, just trying to be, you know, on top, trying to be the alpha, trying to be whatever. And it, it kind of buries and taints all that love that's that's there. Um, hmm. Show me new love. Show me what's up with the new person that's either just come in or coming in. Because I keep getting that energy for you. Have you guys met the person yet? I'd really love to hear because I keep, I keep feeling this with like the past couple months. For, for all the Zodiacs that I channel, I feel new love coming in for you guys. So I would really love to know if you guys just met somebody or if you're feeling it too. Like if you know you're about to meet somebody, like please let me know. Um, yeah, so this, okay, so the new love is a potential life partner. This is true love. Truth and clarity. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Ooh. See, this person is going to be more vulnerable and open with you. They're going to be truthful and honest with you. They're not, this person, this ex has a lot of ego. They're just all, they're, they're kind of narcissistic. They're just kind of all about themselves. They're all about their appearance. They're all about, um, could be someone who is like in the public spotlight and they're just kind of all about um, their image. Like they just care a whole lot about, you know, how they come off to other people and the less about your feelings. You know, whereas this person, this person is going to be more emotional and open and vulnerable and kind of more of a romantic. They're not really going to play all these stupid games that this other person does. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Yeah, you got some good energy here. A risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Yeah, I think it's saying don't be stagnant too when this comes in. Don't You don't want to go back to this. I know it's familiar and I know it's comfortable and I know you probably have a history with this person. With the energy I get, you probably have some kind of history and I know it's comfortable, but you have a potential life partner in store for you that's going to be vulnerable and honest and open with you and feel at home with you and you're going to be able to be safe with them. Um, this person's not, I feel like this other person was like, it's just toxic, you know? And this person's, this new person's going to choose you. They're, they're not going to be stagnant about it, you know, and you don't want to be stagnant when this comes in. You want to, you know, you manifested this magic power manifestation. Like you, you, you've been drawing in love and you might've been trying to draw in this other person, but you know, you got into that, that, um, vibration of, of true love. And so the universe is saying that, no, this isn't true love. This is a karmic. This is a lesson that you're refusing to let go of. And you have someone much better who's actually going to give you everything you're asking for. Like if you ask the universe for a specific person and you're like, I want this person to, you know, treat me like a king or treat me like a queen. And I want to go on dates and I want all the romance and I want this and I want that. They might not bring you that person. They might bring you someone else who actually is going to do those things. You know what I mean? That's kind of how it works with manifestation. It's like, yeah, this ex is still afraid of commitment. Same crap with them. Fast moving energy coming in quick. Ooh. All right. Well, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe and, you know, share me out. Like, uh, yeah, my contact info is below if you'd like a reading. Thanks for watching.